Hello and welcome to our devotion today. We're continuing on week two uh, of our study of the book, Your Journey to a Prayerful Life. This week's focus is on the elements of prayer, what gets put into our prayers, the types of things. Um, and the memory verse for this week comes from Ephesians six eighteen. Pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints. The theme for today is praise, that uh, praise is such a wonderful place to start. I think sometimes we skip straight into the things that we need, and we'll talk a lot more about that on Wednesday, but asking things for God, that we sometimes forget to spend time on just praising God um, and celebrating God and all that God has done. And she breaks down kind of some of the things that make why praise is so important. She talks about how praise preoccupies us with God um, and this idea of it helps us keep the focus where the focus needs to be, which is on God, that it recognizes God's deeds and nature um, and that there's something really powerful when we say out loud and verbalize um, or even in our heads all the things that God has already done, not only for God's people throughout time, but for us as well. Um, she says that praise helps us agree with God's perspectives, um, helps us to try to see the world the way that God sees the world. Um, that praise also is an invitation for the Holy Spirit to work, to work on us, to work in the world, uh, to work in what we're about to pray about in the church. Um, she talks about how praise silences the enemy now, that's not language that I traditionally use, but um, I do think the idea of um, certain kinds of shouts being louder than others. Um, we have a lot of voices competing for our attention, and I think prayer, uh, specifically praise, uh, can direct more of our energy towards what we want our attention to be directed towards. She says that praise establishes faith, um, that she says, speaking what we know to be true about God builds our faith. Um, and again, I think that goes back to just the reminder of what God has already done and so uh, prepares us for what we believe God will do in the future. Um, but I think she also addresses the fact that we sometimes think that our praise of God is so small and minuscule that it doesn't matter to God. And she has this wonderful paragraph that says, if we could see the heart of God, we would be more apt to regularly praise God. We have a tendency to think that God is so majestic that our adoration makes no difference. But God has a tender, sensitive heart and yearns for our gratitude and praise. Remember Jesus' healing of the 10 lepers? Only one came back to say thanks. Jesus was moved by the praise of one and saddened by the other nine. Remember the woman who bathed Jesus' feet with her tears and the woman who lavished expensive perfume on Jesus' head. He was touched by their extraordinary acts of adoration. Let us not withhold our praise. Uh, as we well know, there's never a wrong time to say thank you. Uh, and we probably can't ever say thank you enough to God um, and celebrate um, the character of God uh, the history with God, our experiences with God, and what God has done. So uh, let's think about praise today when we're praying. And uh, she gives you some activities. Um, one of them is an act of gratitude. Tell God three things that you are really appreciate about God. Um, confess times when you've celebrated people and things less significant than Christ and God's work in your life. And ask God to give you more reasons to adore God. Um, I've never thought about that. Give me more reasons to adore you. I love that idea. But I also think one of the fastest ways to get into praise is through music. Uh, it doesn't have to be praise music. We can tap into uh, God in lots of ways, whether those are classic hymns or current uh, songs on Christian radio or completely non-religious songs can also sometimes tap us into that. As I said a couple of weeks ago, you know, Dolly Parton's version of He's Alive just gets me every time to remind me how good the good news is. So uh, in addition to your praise, try and find some music that helps get you in a, a, a mode or a, a feeling of praise. So in that spirit, let's offer a prayer of praise to our very good God. Gracious and loving God, your faithfulness lasts forever. 
Your love is overwhelming. You offer us grace and forgiveness when we do not deserve it. You have parted the seas. You have sent manna to the desert. You have made dry bones live again. You helped David defeat a giant. You helped Isaiah overtake the prophets of Baal. You gave us your son, Jesus Christ. He sacrificed himself so that we might know your love more deeply. He performed miracles, gave us teachings, showed us the way, which is the way of following you, of hearing your voice first, of celebrating your deeds in history, in the world, and in our own lives. May we never stop singing songs of praise and offering prayers of thanksgiving in your name. We ask all this in the beautiful name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. As always, my friends, be well, be safe, share a little praise today. <laughs>